One of the most important lessons about crossing the chasm is that the task ultimately requires achieving an unusual degree of company unity during the crossing period. If you ask why startups outperform established enterprises when it comes to catching the next wave, the answer is that they are not conflicted. Everyone is rowing in the same direction. The company may be saying state of the art when the pragmatist wants to hear industry standard. Technologies from a prior era, once the focal point of innovation, now become the scaffolding upon which next generation innovation will build. Marketing has long known how to exploit fads and how to develop trends. Surround your disruptive core product, the thing that got you to the dance, with the whole product that solves for the target customer's problem end to end. That will keep you on the dance floor for a long time to come. Big enough to matter, small enough to lead, good fit with your crown jewels. To get an early market started requires an entrepreneurial company with a breakthrough technology product that enables a new and compelling application, a technology enthusiast who can evaluate and appreciate the superiority of the product over current alternatives, and a well-heeled visionary who can foresee an order of magnitude improvement from implementing the new application. Customers often bend over backward to give market share leaders second and third chances bringing cries of anguish from their competitors who would never be granted such grace. Smart mobile phones connect you with 1 billion users worldwide, basically for free. You don't pay for the phone. You don't pay for the internet. You don't pay for the wireless connectivity. Social networks let you add a new customer or a new agent, again for free.